Welcome back to Brain vs. Heart. I saw a topic or a question that someone sent in, and I decided to cover it because I'm pretty sure other people are going through the same thing. The post reads, I'm a 32-year-old female, and my 48-year-old boyfriend and I have been together for two and a half years. The subject keeps coming up because it keeps happening. He texts with his ex every other month. The one time I've seen his text, he was telling her, you're hot as hell, when she sent him pictures of herself. I was beyond pissed at this. We had a chat about it, and he tried to explain that she has been working on herself and was trying to be supportive. Okay, whatever, I can get over that. Well, I seen the new texts, and she has now sent more pictures of herself, and he says she looks good. Also has some sort of nickname for her, Bacon Bits. This chick lives somewhere far away, and they won't ever get to see each other, but am I overreacting to the fact that he's accepting of the photos and has a nickname for the broad? To be totally honest, even though he's not physically cheating with her, he is emotionally cheating with her. This is his ex, someone that he has previously slept with, and it seems as though the woman is taking advantage of his emotional infidelity to try and win him over. This makes her feel good about herself being the one on the side there's some sort of excitement knowing that he is putting all of this emotional support into her when she in fact should be finding someone else to do this a great question to ask if you're in a situation like this and you're wondering what to do which in my opinion i believe that you shouldn't even have to ask this question uh is if the tables were turned and the roles were reversed and you were doing this to some other guy him sending his abs pictures of his abs and his, what's that thing called again when the little V part in our crotch, the uh, gutter, something gutter. But if he was showing a pit, sending pictures to you, looking for your approval, and you were saying all that stuff, how do you think your boyfriend would react? The simple solution for this is honestly to tell him, look, and, and be very measured with it. Don't be over emotional. Say, hey, look. I don't feel comfortable with this, and it's clear that you and your ex have some unfinished business, so tell you what, how about we take a break and so you can figure out what you really want, and I'm going to go and figure out what I really want, because at this point, you're not really in a relationship if he's wandering somewhere else. It's a different story if your guy's like jerking off to porn or something, and it's some random person on the internet that he's not speaking to. But this is already someone he's had a relationship with emotionally and physically, and he's still talking to her while he's in a relationship with you and still obviously sexualizing her. That's that's even if he doesn't have any intent to do that, or at least initially, she sure is setting it up that way. So she has a string attached to him and God knows what else. And this is only what you've seen. You don't know what else he's hiding from you. It's that weird case that when someone starts going down that road, you really can't trust that person. Now, if you guys are one of those folks who have an open relationship and you're totally fine with that and you can do that with your exes and he can do that with his exes, that's a different story. But you're not okay with it and you've also made it clear that you weren't okay with it and he's like, no, it's fine and trying to make you seem like you're stupid. So... When this usually happens, people take for granted what they have. They're either emotionally immature or very full of themselves, so you have to remind them. Now, what I would give you for advice is find someone else. This guy, is, he sounds like a, a freaking child. He Either that or he is not over that person. He's not mature enough to know that when you are done with a relationship, you are done with it. It's not like the girl has moved on and he's saying, hey, with your finances, such and such and such. That's not cool. It's not acceptable, especially when you said you were uncomfortable that he kept doing it. Just move on. Just just, just move on. Leave him to his own devices. And if he's like, why are you doing this? You're making it such a big deal. You reply by saying, no, honey, it, it's okay. It's actually not a big deal. I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> I just want you to do what you want to do. It doesn't make me feel good, so I'm not going to stay with you if it doesn't make me feel good. I... I I deserve to feel happy, and while this may not be a big deal to you, it's a deal breaker for me. So I hope you guys work things out. I don't want to stop you and say that you can't ever talk to your ex, but I'm not cool with that. And instead of controlling you and being a mom and nagging, the easiest thing to do is just leave. And if he starts crying or breaking down and doing all the manipulative tactics, just be like, oh, sweetie, and just, just go. Because I don't think he would stand... If you were doing something like that to him, that's not cool if anybody does it to anyone. So that's the answer to that question. The girl obviously doesn't respect your relationship, but it's the guy's responsibility to cut it off and say, look, 
with all due respect, we're not together anymore. Why are you sending me pictures of yourself? Even though you know the girl's hot, it's done. I've had a situation like that where I was really best friends with my ex. Like, I'm the kind of person that if I break up with someone, I'm an amiable person. It's one of those weird traits with INFPs. But as I grew older and I had other boyfriends and stuff, they were always upset. And I wasn't upset. I'm like, if you want to talk to your ex, as long as you're not sleeping with her, it's fine. But I realized that, no, it doesn't matter how friendly you are because one of the horrible traits, I guess, in a relationship for guys is when they're dating an INFP and she, they mistake her niceness as being flirty. We're really not. It's just how we are. So whenever I'm talking with other people, I let a little bit, little bit of that spill out by accident and I have to keep like a mental note, just like INTJs or other people like that are more stoic have to keep a mental note to be a little nicer. I have to keep a mental note on the complete opposite end to be a little bit meaner or a little colder because it can be misconstrued as being flirty, flirtatious, or leading someone on, and that's not my intention. When my husband said that he wasn't comfortable, first he didn't have a problem because he was friends with his exes on Facebook even though we never talked to them, but I was still talking to one of my exes. It was a high school sweetheart guy, and I really just saw him as a friend. Like, we talk about games and stuff. All my sexual stuff for him was just lost a long time ago. I did not seem that way. As a matter of fact, I cringed thinking that I would ever get back with this person. Not because they're a horrible person. It's just, I just don't see him that way. It's gross to me. He, he's essentially friend zone. But he wanted to open up the, the correspondence. And then it started going to these weird parts where he's like, oh, I finished to you. And I'm like, dude, um, no. And of course, I would let my husband know everything. I'm completely honest with him. And he would say, look, this is not okay. This guy, it's one thing if you guys talk once in a while about different stuff, like, because you have a past or whatever, but he's saying stuff like that to you that's disrespectful to me. And I was an idiot. I was still very young. So, like, I was like, wow, yeah, it really is disrespectful to you. And I wouldn't like someone doing that to me, to you. So I told him, like, look, if you're going to disrespect my husband like that, and he would make, at the time, my husband was my boyfriend, and he would make little quips about jokes about his name and stuff. And I'm like, he has, like, an Italian name, so it kind of sounds feminine. Uh, and I'd be like, that's not funny. Like, don't make fun of the person that I love. That's not cool. I'm not going to sit here with you. You're supposed to be my friend, and you're sitting here making fun of my partner. And then he would just keep doing it. I told my boyfriend about it, and he was like, yeah, you need to cut off com communication. My boyfriend shouldn't even have to have to tell me that. But me, not liking confrontation, not wanting to hurt people, I was an idiot. But when my boyfriend told me that, I did cut off communication. Um, he would still try to send me stuff, and he would be very cordial. The only time I had correspondence with him is when somebody that we both knew died, and I was like, wow, thanks for telling me, and that was it. Every correspondence we've ever had, I've always been totally open and honest. As soon as I get the messages, I show my boyfriend. Most girls would not be okay with that. Most girls are like, you tell your boyfriend everything. Yes, I do. Because since I want total honesty, I believe in also being totally honest with my partner. Because I don't want to leave anything up for the imagination. I know I would never cheat on my partner. I know what that feels like, and I love him way too much. However... I don't want to leave any situation open that if he sees something or somebody says something, he doesn't know about it. He would have been like, oh, well, why didn't you tell me? It seems like you're hiding something. No matter what I would say at that point, I would be totally in the wrong and I would not be able to blame him if he didn't believe me. So I do believe in being totally honest. And the, all, the other thing is the fact that this girl found out he didn't exactly tell her she found out about it is also a huge red flag. Just so many red flags with this whole situation. So if anybody else out there has this issue where your significant other is texting their exes, I understand now why more mature people and my husband have told me if you have an ex, unless they're married and you guys are really good friends and they're both married, even that he said was like kind of, that's kind of iffy, that that ship has sailed. That ship has sailed. That person, it doesn't matter if they're far away, you can emotionally cheat with someone and that's not cool. If your partner's cool with it and they're like, I don't care, I don't care, flirt with each other, do whatever. Some people are really cool with that. Some people are not as sensitive. And if they're totally cool with that and they're like, just don't screw with them. You can have phone sex, do whatever. I don't want to know about it. Just that's totally okay with me. I don't care. If they say that, 
and you guys, like, you actually, you're sure it's not some trick, then whatever. But I would also warn you, like, usually if girls say that about guys, they usually have someone on the side, too, that they're doing it with. So they don't want to feel guilty, so they let you do what you want. Just saying. Not everybody, but usually that's the case. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you want to check out our podcast, just check out the links below. We're still new to this, so we're entering this slowly, but surely if you have any other questions to send in, just email askbrainversusheart at gmail.com or leave an audio message in at Anchor. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.